Good morning, y'all. You... Wow. Morning. Good morning. I keep hearing bells. That's where people, people are coming are... in. That's how I know they're coming. Okay. Yeah. Somebody get that doorbell. Hey, sweetheart. How's... <laughs> oh, Katie. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Wait, hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, morning Katie. Morning. Shelby, how are you, babe? No. Shelby. Hi, my love. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Good. Hey, Denise, how's it going? Good. How are you? I can't complain. Gosh, this is great. I get a chance to see you guys. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mary. <laughs> I would. I would. I would. How was advertised? Yeah. Morning coffee with Mary. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I, okay. I know. That'll be the next series. There you go. Hey Shelby, are you still studying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. My school ends. Uh, I think the seventh around the week of May. <gasps> Is it Emory? Hmm. I don't have my name on. I see I'm iPad. <laughs> my name is iPad. Up there. That's great. How do you put your name on it? <laughs> well, this is getting, I get a chance to see people all over the country. This is fantastic. Katie, do you see that uh, Anne Von Geer is in here? Yeah, I saw her name. Where is she? I haven't seen her face. I've just seen the face. Yeah, I did see. And now it's gone. I did see. Oh, nuts. I need to raise this up. Mm. Uh, Pat? Good morning. Morning, Pat. Good morning. We have a McGuire. We got people all over the place. Jennifer, how are you? How are the girls? They're good. Are they fantastic? They miss school. They miss school. Oh. They miss school. Yeah, we've had a lot of each other. <laughs> That's a lot of time together. For <laughs> Mary, if nothing else, we'll have sore cheeks from everybody oh, smiling. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to put a mask on. That's fantastic. How do I mute myself? Hi, Pat. Good morning. How are you, hun? I'm fine. Okay. Good morning. Ron, can you Can you go to chat and make sure that works? Uh, I'm sorry, Mary. I couldn't hear you. Go to chat and check that that link works. Mary? Yes, who? Who's um, It's Kim here. Can you- Oh, hey, Laura. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. Can you tell me how long this lasts? About an hour. Perfect. All right, I'm teaching a Zoom, cl a Zoom class later in Irish bread making, so- Oh, that's my <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, I'm knitting. I'm knitting while I'm chatting with you all, so- That's great. Good Thank you. I have one- um, so Mary, I haven't seen the link on the video yet. If you posted something to the chat, I don't see it. I'm look. Oh, it would be nice if I push. There you go. Mary. There you go. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it works. Looks like it works. You would think that I knew Zoom really was well, but I don't. <laughs> I'm making it well. I'm making it up every day. Okay. Oh, there's Millie. <laughs> Hi, Millie. <laughs> Who is it? Who's here? <laughs> oh, there's Donna. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Millie, how you doing? I'm just doing. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good this morning is... to everybody. <laughs> I mean, if, if you'll have all I did, oh, is it? There's one that's a little uh, better. Oh, just hi. Let's see. All right, Kim. Kim, where do you live? I Park City Definitely. and Dublin. I wanted to make sure I was right. Yeah, but I'm in Park City now. <laughs> I do not have a dog this time because I'm in my office. Hey, Corey. Angie, 
Katie, how are you? Hi, hi. good to see you. <laughs> how are the kids? Oh, wonderful. They're doing well. <laughs> they keep busy. <laughs> Terry Davis from Stockton. Terry Davis. Hey, Terry, I used to work at St. Bernard's. Oh, wave whoever you are. I can't see who's talking. Oh, okay. Oh, Mary. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Terry and Kathy Nother. That's good. Oh, Terry. Kathy's here too. Oh, how, nice. how are you? Good to see you. How nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Mary, this is already a success. You're reuniting yeah. everyone. Yeah, you Good can. job. <laughs> You're the man. Okay. Oh, you can't do it, I guess. So, are you ready, Ron? Oh, there's uh, Francis. Yeah, whenever, whenever you're ready to roll. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mary Reardon, in case you don't know me. I don't know I work with the Spirit. I would like to introduce Ron Halligan, if you'll wave. I'm here. Ron and his wife are parishioners. He is a hired Ernst and Young partner. He has been on our parish council for three years. He um, serves on many mem uh, advisory and nonprofits. He has completed the spiritual exercises and is a director for the spiritual exercises. So Ron will be leading us today. And Tom, at that which I don't even see. Where's Tom? Where's Tom? Tom? He's here. <laughs> Hi, Hold I'm on. here, Mary. I still have Tom. Oh, there's Tom. Thank God. Yep. And then Tom is our co-host, married to Elizabeth, has two daughters, is a parishioner of Holy Spirit since 1998. He has served as a coordinator in liturgy and has completed the spirituality of St. Ignatius. So those two men will lead you this morning, and, uh, and I'm just going to lurk around. Okay. Ron, go ahead. Uh, you're, you're muting everybody now? Are you going to mute everybody now? I am right now. Are Can I ask you a question? Time? Yes. Sure. Um, I, I had a hard time finding you. So we're supposed to go to the Holy Spirit site and then click. I went straight to Zoom. Yeah, yeah. We'll take we'll take care of some of the logistics, especially as we sign off later today. Okay. 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 Separate. Let me undo. Mary, and good morning, and uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I'm really excited to walk you through our plans for these sessions, but um, why don't we first start with a prayer? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for the gift of this day and for the opportunity to gather this morning. Let us set our eyes, our ears, and our hearts directly on you, Lord. Give us the courage to pursue new beginnings and the more intimate relationships you desire with each and every one of us. May we also reflect your peace and hope to a world that so desperately needs your presence and healing right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Okay. So, um, you know, what I'd like to do is talk just a little bit about this reignite with the saints in general to let you know what these sessions are going to be about. And then I'll cover a little more specifically what we're going to go through, um, what we'll cover today. So um, a question has been asked often, where, where did this reignite with the saints come from and what is this series all about? And uh, plain and simply, reignite with the saints comes from the feedback that we've received from many of you and others. Feedback from Growing our friendship with Jesus, uh, the planting series, the prayer enrichment sessions, various retreats that we've held, and uh, most recently from the Reignite series, where people have said, gosh, we, we really enjoyed the session or the series or the retreat, uh, and it was great at that point in time, but we, we often struggle to put the learnings from those experiences into the practice of our daily lives. So Reignite with the Saints has is, is really been designed with many people um, to help you put these various learnings into practice. Um, we'll cover, there'll be five sessions on different saints, and each of them will strive to connect with um, this, the themes, if you will, from the Reignite series and um, to the lives and messages from one or more of the saints from Matthew Kelly's book, Rediscover the Saints, 
which each of us, all of the Holy Spirit parishioners received as a gift back at Christmas time. So the thought is by connecting these reignite teachings and seeing how these saints actually lived these teachings, it, um, it just might inspire us and enable us to do the same. So then um, how is this, how is reignite with the saints going to be different from reignite? Well, I guess there's a, a couple of major differences that I see. First of all, if you tuned in expecting to see Father Brendan delivering this series, um, we're sorry to disappoint you, but it will be, it'll be um, different Holy Spirit parishioners um, who've worked together to present these, these saints in this series to you. And I guess the second difference is, Whereas with Reignite, Father Brendan, I mean, in his amazing way, delivered these six awesome presentations. Um, with Reignite with the Saints, it's going to be each and every one of you that are going to make the difference for the series. With Reignite, both the sessions and the follow-on facilitated sessions were silent. We were left to our own private reflections. And we'll do some of that today. But I think the real benefit that we've heard from people time and time again is what they most enjoy is sharing their faith, sharing their experiences, sharing their reflections with other people. And later on, after we do our private reflections, Mary's gonna put each of you into a very small chat room with maybe three other, I think it's gonna be three people in total in each of the sessions, where you'll be given the opportunity to share your reflections, your thoughts, your feelings with other, with other folks. And uh, then we'll bring you back together to share with the larger group to the extent you're comfortable doing so. Um, I'd ask you a couple of things. Please be patient with the technology. This is new for many of us. Um, these private chat rooms that we're setting up uh, is the first time we'll be doing that. And then we're going to be incorporating uh, videos in each of these sessions, uh, little videos from uh, Dynamic Catholic and the recently concluded Best Lent, uh, Best Lent Ever series. So um, what you're going to need for this session, honestly, if you have a pen and a piece of paper or if you've downloaded the uh, materials from the session, that's all you really need. Um, for future sessions, if you had a Bible handy, that wouldn't hurt, but it's definitely not needed today, so don't go running to, to grab that. And preferably, you will have read the little chapter from Rediscover the Saints um, before, you, before the session start. If you have, great. If you haven't, uh, no worries. So um, let's talk about then what the, our agenda is and the format for each of these sessions over the next few weeks. Um, we'll start with the prayers we did. Um, we'll, we'll have a very brief background on the saint. There are a handful of bullets in the materials if you downloaded them from the web, website on St. Augustine, who is our saint for the day. Um, we'll cover, I'll, I'll add in a few extras. So it'll just be a brief background on the saint. Um, we'll watch a video from the Dynamic Catholic series, uh, the Best Lent Ever series. So uh, the video today is on St. Augustine and his message. Uh, there's a couple of scripture pa passages that we're going to ask you to prayerfully read and reflect upon. And then you'll be given some reflection questions that you'll privately answer. And then Mary will disperse you all into these small little private chats. Um, that you'll have a chance to share your answers and your ideas and thoughts with um, fellow participants. We'll return from the private chats into a larger group with everybody brought back together. And to the extent any of the groups want to share a highlight from their session, time permitting, we'll allow you to do so. Um, very importantly today, we need your very candid feedback on the session, what worked, what didn't. Mary just posted uh, just a few minutes ago in the chat a link to the evaluation form. If you, want to, if you want to click on that so you have it available to the extent anything comes to mind as we're going through this, um, you know, just jot your thoughts down. But, and we'll use that feedback to guide the rest of the sessions. So those evaluations are important. We'll have a couple of reminders at the end. And we'll have a closing prayer that uh, if any of you have any courage left after the private faith sharing, we would love it if one of you would volunteer to do a closing prayer today. So, um, with that, let's let's get into uh, let's get into the session today. And as I as I mentioned, the idea is to connect the takeaways from the reignite from the reignite sessions um, into the reignite with the saint sessions. And as we talked amongst ourselves, the group that kind of put this together, 
the two key takeaways from reignite session number one was this notion of a of a reset a kind of a restart or a new beginning and you know with this whole pandemic thing going on it's not a bad time to sort of stop and reflect on what's going on in the world and in our own lives so this notion of a of a new beginning of a of a reset and a fresh start and the second one the word that rang true for many of us is desire the desire of god to have this intimate special relationship with each and every one of us so those two kind of thoughts and themes are baked into the into the session today so first, um, a brief background on St. Augustine. If you've downloaded the materials from the website, you can see some of the bullets there. I'm gonna share just kind of a few, few other thoughts. Um, but I guess if you, if you happen to be of the mindset that saints are just born that way, saints are born to be saints. Uh, I, I think you'd find that St. Augustine probably destroyed that notion very quickly. He, he was not particularly saintly from day one. He was uh, born around the year 350 in North Africa, in what it is today, Algeria. His, his mother was Saint Monica, and she definitely probably needed the patience of a saint to be his mother, based on how he lived his early life. Very well educated, extremely intelligent, um, but he was, he was kind of quite, quite the party boy. Um, uh, you know, with most saints, you probably think of their amazing virtues. But in his earlier life, Augustine was, was probably known more for his, his gluttony and lust. Um, he lived outside of marriage with a woman, had a child, um, and was preparing to marry another woman when he uh, changed his life and decided to live a life of celibacy. And all the while, just kind of searching for things. He, he had a lots going on, very busy, but um, very much the academic. But his, his heart, was definitely restless. He was looking, he was searching for something different. And finally, he came upon Christianity. His, um, inspired by his mother, who, as I said, literally was a saint, um, and Saint Ambrose, they eventually converted him to Christianity. He was very, very heavily influenced by the letters of Saint Paul, um, who, as you obviously know, had his own, you know, transformational event and his own new beginning. Uh, St. Augustine was a prolific writer. He uh, wrote over a hundred works that have been preserved and published. He uh, heavily influenced the doctrines of both original sin and the Trinity. He was a bishop, a saint, and later designated a doctor of the church um, and is really influenced much of the church's theology. And by some, he was considered the greatest shaper of our theology since literally St. Paul. Couple of fun facts, you know, given his background and his life, he is the patron saint of brewers. He's also the patron saint of theologians and printers. So I guess if I had to pick one word about St. Augustine that just strikes with me is, uh, and his life is hope, that um, there's hope for all of us. If he could turn his life around as he did, and there's hope for all of us uh, who may be in entirely different places than he was. So the word that I kind of take away is hope. And with that, uh, Tom, I think you're going to queue up our video or Mary, you're going to queue up the video. I think I'll introduce this briefly. It's from Dynamic Catholic, um, uh, the Best Lent Ever series. And this one is specifically, it's the first one of the series and it's on St. Augustine. So someone can run that. Away we go. Tom. Tom, no video, no audio. Tom. I don't even see him. Tom. That's why we said patience with the technology. You need to un unmute Tom. I know, Tom. I, he, I don't have control of it now, he does. Okay.
Hey, Tom, can you unshare? Put a note up. There is. Hey, Tom. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Let me let me try it again here. You need to unmute us. I mean, you need to unmute so I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me now? We yes. can hear you. We yeah. Hear you. Okay. Let me let me try it again. Sorry about that. All right. That's why we asked for patience with the technology. Can you see the screen? Yes. We can see the screen. Just can't hear it. Okay. Let's let's try it again. There we go. All right. Hi, I'm Matthew Kelly, and welcome to Best Land Ever. Our God is a God of new beginnings, a God of fresh starts. And I love that because we all need a new beginning from time to time. We all need a, a fresh start from time to time. And and it's a, it's a source of great hope for us. As we make our journey through Lent, and as we explore the lives of these different saints and the lessons of these different saints, one of the things we're going to discover is that God gave them all a new beginning. God gave them all a fresh start. In fact, in many cases, God gave them many of those things. And we begin today with Augustine, who was a great sinner. I mean, Augustine was a massive sinner. We, we talk about him today as a great saint, right? Oscar Wilde said, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. And Augustine had a massive future. And it's important for us to recognize that because there's hope in that. I look at Augustine, I think, wow, if God can do that with him, he can do something with me. And the first question I pose in the book is, what do you believe about your past that is keeping you from your future? What do you believe about your past that's keeping you from your future? Because we all have self-limiting beliefs. We all have self-limiting beliefs that are not from God, that are not holy, that are not humble. Uh, they stop us from being all God created us to be. They stop us from becoming a better version of ourselves today. And in those self-limiting beliefs, we experience what Augustine describes in his most famous quote, this, this restlessness. Augustine wrote, our hearts are restless, O oh Lord, until they rest in you. And so as we begin this journey together, I encourage you to find a quiet place today for a few moments and just rest with God. Just be with God. Doesn't matter what you say, just sit and be with God. Because one of the great, great benefits of our spirituality is this restfulness. We live in a restless world. You know, and God invites us to peace, to calm, to quiet. One of the lessons I really want us to drill down on over the next 40 days is how do we learn to rest with God? How do we learn to rest in God? Because from that will come an explosion of goodness in ourselves, in our lives, and that we can take out to the world. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom, for getting that squared away. Yeah. Um, so listen, I just ask you each, take out your journal, take out a pen, piece of paper, just maybe jot down one thing that struck you from that video, okay? Any one thought or reflection or moment that may have just struck you, just take a minute in private and uh, jot it down in your journal or with whatever you have to write with uh, this morning. We'll be right back to you.
Okay, thank you. And we're going to move on to um, to the passages that we've chosen for you today. There's a couple of passages again in the um, in the materials that were uh, posted to the website. Uh, what we, I'm going to give you is about about 10, 10 minutes or so to uh, just kind of review the passages, and then there's a series of reflection questions that we'd like you to answer in private. And I'm going to uh, just jot down your answers, and to the extent you're comfortable in doing so, when we uh, when we partition you off into your sort of chat rooms, we would encourage you to share your thoughts and reflections with your fellow participants. So um, I want to go through the three questions that we we chose for today, and uh, we'll just talk about them very briefly, and to make sure they're hopefully as clear as possible. So the first question is right from the video, right from uh, rediscover the saints is what is it about your past that is keeping you from your future what is it about your past that is keeping you from your future maybe there's something you're holding on to maybe uh from father brendan's session maybe there's that room in your house that you're just not quite ready to give to god maybe it's a fear of change uh, maybe it's a doubt, or um, I think Matthew, Matthew Kelly referred to it as a, a self-limiting belief about yourself that's holding you back. But what is it about your past that is keeping you from your future? Whatever that may be, whatever that is, try to name it and jot it down. That is a very important first step. The second one is um, just consider your relationship with God. What, what is your relationship with God like? And just try to describe it in a few words, whatever words come to mind. Don't, you don't have to overthink it. Just where are you at today with your relationship with God and explain it in as few words as, as you possibly can. The third question then is, if you desire, we talked about desire, God desiring this intimate relationship with each and every one of us, if you have a desire for a closer relationship with God, what, uh, what two or three practical steps would you like to take, could you take to move your relationship with God in the right direction? What, just a, two or three practical steps that you could take uh, to move that relationship in the right direction. And the sort of the sub part of that question is, how will you follow through on those steps? You know, we, we may have jotted down steps two or three weeks ago from Father Brendan's sessions that might have been similar to these questions. What have we done with those since two or three weeks ago, right? So how will you follow through to actually take these steps and what help might you need? Do you need help from someone dear to you from the parish community? You know, what steps might you take and how will you follow through to make sure you actually take them and do you need any help? Now, if you're in a situation where you feel like you, you already have this great, amazing relationship with God, maybe your question's a little bit different. It might be, jot down two or three things that are helping you with this amazing relationship with God. Why is your relationship so great with God? And then ask yourself, how can I help others get to the same place, right? So either if you desire a closer relationship with God, what could you do to move that in the right direction? And if you have this amazing relationship, what, what two or three things could you share with others today or subsequent to today to uh, kind of share that magic and help others uh, establish that same relationship? So uh, Mary, are, are we ready to, uh, that's kind of it. You'll have uh, just suggested time here. Um, why don't you take about uh, 10 minutes to kind of uh, uh, to review the passages and to ref draw, jot down the answers to the re reflection questions. We'll come back and Mary, in about 10, 12 minutes, Mary will put you off into your sub chat rooms, but we will, we will talk to you before we do that. So take about 10 to 12 minutes to reflect on the passages and answer these questions. Hey, Tom, if it's all, sorry to bother everybody, if it's at all possible, Tom, could you cut and paste the 
um, reflection questions into the chat. Yeah, I can do that, Ron.
Okay, a couple more minutes and then we'll bring the group back. Thank you. Okay, um, so if we can all kind of come back, thank you for your reflection. And um, now we'll get to, I think, what will hopefully be a, a very uh, fruitful part of the session. Um, and, and Mary will soon break you up into uh, private chat rooms. Uh, I want to make a couple of things really clear. The, the session to date has been recorded uh, for people who uh, may not be able to uh, attend either this morning's session or this evening's session. The, none of the chat will be recorded at all. That's definitely not being recorded. So you're free to speak as openly and candidly with your fellow participants as, as you can. We're gonna have about 10 minutes to do this particular uh, portion of the session. So there's gonna be three people, I think, in each of the rooms. So if you could each take two to three minutes to share your, um, your thoughts and ideas from the reflections with your fellow participants. Uh, if someone can kindly keep a little bit of an eye on the time, because if you were in my chat room, I just chat and chat and chat and nobody else gets a turn. So make sure everybody gets a chance to share. We'll give you a heads up at about two minutes left to go, two or three minutes. Mary will try to come on and just let everybody know in the chat rooms that we're bringing you back. And um, she will bring everybody back at the same time. So we apologize if someone gets cut off, but that's just the way the technology works. We can't just gradually let you come back in. She'll bring everybody back to the main chat room. So Mary, anything else that people need to know? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna just go ahead and pause recording right now. And then I will...